Oh, what's up, Ryan? <clears throat> I completely forgot there was a uh, event going on. <laughs> Let's escape the gray and let the colors rain. Turn the shell we do and our words into pure reality. Cause you and me are meant to be what they don't see. Never feeling wrong, cause we don't belong in getting high enough. We're invincible. collected all that energy that I did not mean to collect. Oh well. We just have to use it all. <clears throat> Zero points! Wow. I didn't even accidentally get some points. Sirens, Beth, and Shelly. I see. Yeah, I haven't been doing any of these stages. That makes sense for the summer thing. So they're doing water stages. They they haven't done events like this in a really long time. But whenever I first started playing this game, they uh, um is it not working? Yo, what's up, Super Mark? Mark, can you hear me? machine well I guess I need to be farming Aria Lake seabed or sky falls oops maybe it just started today go ahead and <clears throat> open this egg So, we need to feed Astro on fruit, we need to level, or we need to catch. Which basically means we need something to level up. So I ain't got shit to level up. Could five star this guy, but then I will need to get seven more midstones. Because I still need to keep, I need to keep 50 midstones. <clears throat> I've got Verde actually. Could uh, work on Verde. Get her up to level 50. So that's something to level up. And then I also have the option to six star one of these guys. I'm kind of leaning towards Snow White. What do you think? Got a dark fib with a square. Congratulations. Also, if I six star Snow White, I'll use a uh, gym conversion. I'll use my one and only gym conversion ticket. Or slot conversion ticket. I don't really want a six star Mowgli because I already have a six star Mowgli and you can't use two Mowgli in Colossus anyways. So. <clears throat> Sorry, how did I get what? Sorry. Oh, 
Oh, duh. I'm an idiot. I got it from, they had an event where if you spent $3 on the game, you got a gem slot conversion ticket. So I bought a, it was like a Hero Fest ticket or something, which is $3. And got the gem slot conversion ticket just additionally. That was pretty cool. Well, I guess while I'm being indecisive, go ahead and work on Colossus a little bit. It is Monday after all. So you see, Colossus actually doesn't pop up with those checkboxes. That's how I got confused about that the other day. I was like, wait, I thought they didn't do this in the dungeons, but it's just Colossus. I don't know how they decided. I guess people level up in B10 and stuff. Uh, but this one comes with, this one comes with checkboxes, this one do not. Did I see the Colossus update? Nah, not yet. I got the Facebook all, uh, well I mean I saw the video about a Dark Sea, Sig Soul Stones or something. I hope that those are kind of hard to get. Like you have to be doing like Colossus B7 plus or something. Mostly because it will give me something to strive towards, which is fun. Let's burn some of this energy here. And then maybe we can go take a look at Facebook. Check out the maintenance updates, the developer's notes from today. I'm sure everyone saw they got a water d'Artagnan this morning for another, like, for a Facebook event they did. <laughs> Yo, what's up, IBAP? Need to hit up my loot. I won't interrupt you though. Baby.
need to run Colossus next week on Monday. Maybe cheese that extra book. What? What you talking about? Oh, before they update it? It's not going to be skill books anymore? I don't know. I'll have to read. We'll check it out here in a little bit. I hope it's in the developer notes. Because that's, that's what I'm basing it off of. We only worry about official news here. How about that maintenance yesterday, though? It lasted like five minutes. Pretty nice. Gonna do... Gonna do Colossus until I'm low on energy. Because I was sitting on like 300 energy or something. Really need to get rid of some of it. <clears throat> and also I completely forgot about that event so I'll start farming Aria Lake and Sky Falls and whatnot today. Gotta get some points. Seeing skill books go from Colossus sounds kind of sad. I remember before people were like, should give us more opportunities to get skill books. Now they're taking them away instead. Astromon of the month is only once a month. Yeah, I will. Dog hair has made its way into my coffee. Cool though. I got it out. I don't know if you guys have any pets, but that's pretty much just a just your life. I have two dogs, and just basically everything I own has dog hair on it. Gosh, the Seedler is being extra resilient today. Can't wait to replace with the... Uh, what's it called? Snow White. Gonna replace with Snow White. And then this should be a little more consistent.
What do you think, Love Machine? Should I six star Snow White or Gatito? I mean, I guess technically, I'll, I mean, I'm gonna six star both of them, but. Yeah, okay, cool. That's what I was thinking too. I just needed some uh, confirmation. So, we'll do that today. I'm ready. I'm ready for. Her. And then I just gotta decide which shape I wanna convert. Because I'm in this situation where if I convert her. So she has diamond, diamond, triangle. If I convert the triangle and make her square, diamond, diamond, I got a set for her already on my second dark Mowgli that I could just pop over. But I think. I kind of think that the long term smarter play is to switch the diamond to a square so that it's square diamond triangle so i'm, I'm kind of torn like do i want to just like have a set to put on her now or do i want to play like the smart play and just have her have balanced shapes for future for futureness yo what's up chosen Depends on the sub stats. I don't know. I don't think that really matters that much. It just kind of matters. Like, do I care about having a set right now? Or am I cool just having balance shapes and having to work a little for the set? Because basically, I don't really have a balance shape set. I'm, mi I'm missing, like, a decent triangle. And it's not that I don't have any. It's that they're just on other monsters. You know, other monsters in this team. Now, I mean, I would say that they're about the same as the rest of my gems, but they're not uh, super amazing or anything. We'll take a look. I can, I can show you. They're not the best gems ever, but they're like a, it's a ruin set on like 85 or 90 percent. I think so still room for growth nonetheless all of them do though this guy's not a hundred percent Mowgli's not a hundred percent these two are though but the but these are on ruin and these are on uh, intuition so that's the difference I wonder if it would be worth it to try to get Windigo to be able to survive the rockets so that he can use his vengeance one time. I'm not sure though. I'm not really looking to get a one-shot team I mean like that'd be cool and I'll keep working towards it but um, what I'm mostly interested in is just like this guy dying <laughs> he's, he got crit that time so he's gonna die but I just need a unit there that'll die but that still does a crap load of damage and that'll be Snow White Yeah, I mean, I'm not, uh, 
I don't have good enough ruined gems to get there. I got a lot, a lot of room to grow to get to that point. Most of my ruined gems are like, you know, I'm lucky. Some, some of these guys are sitting on ruined gems that have only like seven percent crit and like three flat subs. You know, they are. N this is not the cream of the crop as far as gems go. Ruin gems are tough to get. I've got a couple like OP ones. Like I've got one with a 20% crit rate. And then more than that, I've got ruined gems with really big resistance. <laughs> but that doesn't really help, right? Resistance needs to just be secondary on ruined gems. Crit rate needs to be the primary. I would love to be able to eventually build a ruin set that doesn't re rely on a crit rate gem, you know? I don't know, maybe you just got them from treasure chests and stuff. We'll just do two more runs. We'll just finish, finish out the times twenty. Times twenty in Colossus is pretty painless when you're running them on auto at thirty seconds a run. Thirty something seconds. Be shorter if this stupid seedler would die. So annoying. Consistently surviving now. Got to get him out of there. So we'll six star Snow White after this. It doesn't matter. Everyone. the side units I see what you mean they may just target the weaker monsters though <laughs> something yeah I, I just wonder if they're just attacking the people with the least HP because those two guys have like nothing okay so all those what do we got here I don't know it's something it's a defense attack gem what do we think about this? We'll see what it works. Certainly if this is not resistor crit rate, it's gone. Alright, easy peasy. So, uh, 
Yeah, we don't really need a healer with recovery. Oh, yeah, we broke seven mil. I was hoping that that would happen just for fun. I don't know what the most I've ever had is, but I, it can't be. Yeah. Like I said, if, if it had rolled uh, crit rate or resist, it probably would have kept it. <clears throat> I'm not interested in a gem that basically only has crit damage as a sub. <laughs> No, thank you. All right, we're doing it. Too late. Can't stop me. Cool. Congratulations on your Merlin fusion mammals. Six star Snow White in the bag. Gonna have to go steal some gems for sure. See what we could do with uh Let's just see what we got here. How big of crit rate could we do? Probably not much. Wasted stones? I disagree. Okay, so yeah, probably my biggest crit rate is gonna be this freaking siphon gem. Oh wait, there's 14. 14. I need an angel after what you did. Cause you were the devil. You know all those suck. Okay, this one's got some potential. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> Let's see the bird looks like one upgrade already went to HP. Of course. Of course. Of the four, which one would you least prefer? Let's upgrade that one. Anyways, we'll see what happens. Let's see some crit rate. Unbelievable. So fucking rigged. All right, here's another one. Do I even do I even need to tell you where this upgrade's going? We all know. to crit damage still shit but it didn't go to recovery which is what I was expecting so many chances <clears throat> all right this is our third try Well, you should do both always, anyway. <laughs> you should just get two Holy Gleams. Anyways, TOC's only got like a week left, so might as well get on it.
We got one! Alright, if this gym can magically go to 20% crit rate, that would be pretty good for me. Come on, crit rate. Let's make this interesting. I wanna build a no. I wanna build a no square Lucy for now. I don't wanna have to commit to gym slot conversion ticket yet. Come on, 20. Fuck. What did it even go to? Crit damage again, I guess? Damn. Okay, all right, well, whatever. We're still just gonna pop some, pop some gems on here. There was another one with like 15 crit rate or something like that. 12 and a half, no, that won't do. You go there it is 14 your Rudolph is variant no it's not because I'm an idiot <laughs> it's got a uh... oh I thought there was a variant in here that, he, that if I Evo 3'd it would be a variant, but I guess not. I must have just trashed it. So I was like, ah well, fucking blew that. Forgot to, forgot to do it, like an idiot. Oh well. All right, we're looking for some more big crit rate. Actually, there's a couple units I can go look at. I feel like there's a triangle out there with crit damage on it that's got like 20% crit rate. Feel like <clears throat> it exists. Can we get a Yeti rebirth? Do we need a Yeti rebirth? Didn't they do a Yeti? Oh, wah. Go farm. <laughs> Good luck with them LD eggs. Why do my crit rate subs suck so much? Okay, this one's got a chance. Let's see what we got here. If this goes above 20, I'm a I'm going to put it on there probably. Otherwise, I'm going to go steal it from someone else. Fucking flat attack. Jesus. Why, Why is this so bad? Why am I so bad? All right, I think it's like uh Wood Yaksha. 
There it is. 19%. Oh, but it's a five star. Fuck. Damn, it's a five star, guys. I blew it. What do you got? Nothing. I could probably make this Coco Moro work too. In Colossus. What we got here? Oh, only six and a half. Damn. I could swear I had a big, big crit damage out here somewhere. It's not gonna be on. <laughs> Did you build Dark Alpaca? No. Sitting around here somewhere. Should I have? Is he any good? HP pop. Boom! There it is! It's on Shiva! Damn. Should have known. Alright, that's the one we're gonna get. I'm gonna steal that shit. Steal the shit out of that gym. All right, we managed to get to 58% crit rate. We'll take it. Not enough crit. Definitely not enough crit. <laughs> That's okay. You know how many times I've used that light, Shiva? Guess how many times I've used that light, Shiva. Uh, took you out. <laughs> you are correct. I, d I waited way too long to get light, Shiva. After we get this Snow White leveled up a little bit, <coughs> my Colossus team should take a, uh, a bump up. <laughs> you know why I run the gold stage? Why do you run the gold stage? I'll tell you why I do. I just don't need... Uh, I actually like my biggest bottleneck is finding units to level up 
So I just, it's not necessarily that I'm running the gold stages, that's just that I'm not running the XP stage. I don't run the XP stages. Because I don't need to level up any faster. Like, my, my problem is usually that I am running out of stuff to level up. So I never run the XP stage. I, and so I just de facto go to the gold stage. I didn't even know there was no stun here. There may be a better stage to run that's full of like more attackers or something, but whatever. I used to run the XP stage, but it just, you know, I would end up, like I said, running out of stuff to level up, and then I'm like, shit, I wish I had just run the gold stage instead. Let's check out the developer notes. I know most of you have already looked at them, but I haven't. Not I. All right, hello masters. I am Dong Jin Lee. Dong Jin Lee, I'm not sure how to say it, but um, the game director of Monster Super League. Summer has finally arrived, and I'm sure you guys all have enjoyed the World Soccer Tournament. Cannot say the name. Oh, they're not allowed to say the World Cup, I guess. Um, it's like trademarked or something. Uh, first of all, there have been many issues after the last update, and I am here to apologize. Oh, shit. I'm here to apologize for the inconvenience on behalf of my team. Also, many of Masters were wondering what was going on. I'll explain in detail. Maybe not allowed in Korea. Oh, yeah, maybe. But, yeah, it just seems like they're not allowed to say the World Cup. Why is it so buggy? <laughs> Why is it so buggy? That's what, the, that's what the people sound like. Fucking whiny babies. Monster Super League is built on Unity Engine and we could not avoid updating the framework version and the engine due to our increased game contents. Although, also we had to update Facebook SDK by July 13th and extend its expiration, to extend its expiration date. Since it is unable to log in with Facebook without extension, so, so we had no choice but to update as soon as possible and unexpected errors were found. Okay. So, I don't know, to try to summarize that, it sounds like they updated their Unity engine and the Facebook SDK in like the same time period and they rushed it and were not able to thoroughly test it and some bugs got out. A lot of bugs got out. <laughs> um, but hey, I know, I know the feeling. This kind of looks like a butt whenever you just see like a little bit of it. This is looks kind of gross. Okay, anyways, it's just a it's just a little miho crying though. Don't worry. Um. Anyways, why the update file got so big? The file got bigger with the engine update as a resource. We're oh, as the resources were replaced with the new versions. However, the additional download should not exceed five minutes according to the market policy. So we had to apply whole build download. We are sorry that we could not inform you about this matter in advance. Jeez. Currently, we are working on the reported issues and our next update is scheduled for July 31st, along with the partial optimization. We will do our best to provide more fun and enjoyable gaming service. Uh, so what do you guys think? Do you think, do you think that the updates that they've been working on and everything that they've been putting out into the game is worth all this trouble that we're running into or should they have just left it alone i think it was worth it i'm i'm excited to see the game continue to be developed on and change even if drastically at least that means that people are like really actively working on it anyways now i'd like to share two main improvements that we are working on prior to our second anniversary main update without a, without a further ado I'll jump right to them I think it's supposed to be without further ado but without a further ado I'll jump right to them Colossus smash Colossus dungeon rework no one is coming oh 
No one is. No one's playing Colossus apparently. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> we designed Colossus Dungeon to be a hardcore, challenging adventure. However, the rewards were quite underwhelming compared to the input, so we have reworked on several aspects. Limited daily entrance. Number of daily entrance will be limited to two times per day. Okay, that's a good way to get us to do more Colossus. Additional entrance will cost Astro Gem. Boss cycle of weekdays. Dark Colossus, Fire Colossus. Oh. They're turning Colossus into a world boss. Kind of thing. Colossus is no longer available on the weekends. I don't like this. Strengthened strategical planning. Colossus' skills are changed to give a variety of usable skills such as shield breaker, buff breaker, purification, recovery down. Dude, why didn't you just make a new dungeon? Hmm. Six star gems will always be dropped as a reward if you clear the stage. Okay, fine. Twice a day. Cool. Dual gem enhancement. The original structure of dual gem consisted of both positive and negative effects, so it was not very welcomed by masters. Blah, blah, blah. So we've changed them to have positive effects only. So you can get like a resist NHP buff or a crit damage and defense buff. Oh, hello. Hello, new Nike. <laughs> new Nike gems. Attack and crit rate. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. But you can get two a week. Good luck. Holy shit. I don't know about this. Whatever. I, I am not, like, why didn't they just make a new dungeon? Just make a new fucking dungeon. Why did you blow away Colossus? I mean, I have my problems with it, but holy crap. You just, they just sledgehammered the shit out of this problem. How would you like to, the gym enhancement? I personally want gym of Zell and gym of longevity for my dark Miho and fire Siegfried. Just to clarify, gym of the healer and magi will still be dropped from the dungeon. So healer and magi will still be in there. So what's gonna happen to the original? You can use them if you have them, but you can't get any more. Think of them as limited edition. Think of them as useless. <laughs> uh, play reward. You can now get the reward every eight times instead of every 100 times. Do you like the retouches on Colossus Dungeon? No, I don't think this is a touch. This was a complete smashing should have just been a new new dungeon um anyways they tried their best to get more challenges to higher level players we're excited to present new colossus dungeon i disapprove clan reads of defense will rework oh we didn't just do this now i have mentioned that titan will now get angry in the last developer's note what balancing with titan's anger it's almost done and it will be implemented soon Unlike the original skill, Blessing, <clears throat> it only increases attack and defense. Oh, it only increases attack and defense will remain the same. 
Thus, having high attack and high defense Astromon formation will be the key to give him the maximum damage. Also, with the dramatic increases in Titan attack after several turns, the playtime will be shortened. Okay. Jesus. Since the teamwork is the key for regional defense, we are thinking of giving additional level rewards to provide the motivation for a higher goal. We'll do our best to provide enough compensation for your efforts. That's, a, that's not really that big of a deal. Um, just seems like random. They're not really solving anything there. Um, so this is the end of the developer's note. Enjoy hot summer with our costume. Be back with better and interesting news. Please remember that we're always listening to your concerns. Uh, I think this might be the problem. You're listening to all the whiny babies on Facebook. Instead of your gut. Okay, well, I don't know, guys. I am... I'm... Without, without having actually been able to, to play it, or experience it, I am not happy about the new Colossus updates. And I'm also not happy about the the Titans rework because they just reworked it. So fucking make up your mind. Yeah, I don't know. This I have to say this is the first time that I am genuinely like a little disappointed and underwhelmed by your updates. Uh, what was his name? Shit, forgot. Mr. Lee. This is the first time. But that's okay, we got a Snow White to level up. Good thing I just spent all my time building up a Colossus team to be able to farm Light Colossus. Thanks a lot. Finally found a use for my Dark Wind to go, and they're taking it away from me. You know, come to think of it, why am I even building this Dark Snow White? I know, they haven't even fucking touched dragons. I have so much to complain about dragons. But it's high level content that most players don't even mess with. That's the thing, they're just... They're just listening to fucking Facebook crybabies. And Reddit crybabies. I want more Nat Fives. Okay, okay, here. You can have... You can have, uh, Stark Siegfried Soul Stones. Colossus is hard! Okay, okay, we'll just fucking nuke it and build a new one. right let the fucking let the shit storm begin <laughs> the the gambling the gambling is in sync with my attitude so when I'm in a bad mood you get shit drops level up baby Well, I'm glad I didn't use my gem slot conversion on Snow White. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably not even gonna use it on her anymore. That was like my... My whole thing was I was trying to build a... A Colossus team that would be able to farm B3 as fast as possible. Oh well. I still get this week and next week, you said, right? If I do it next Monday.
Sky Falls was included in the event, right? So we get Shelly's, right? can find a better map to farm just a look because these guys gotta be kind of tanky slowing down my slowing down my first wave just so crazy even the fact that you can only enter twice a day which means like you can't like even just even just trying to build and craft a team is going to be difficult like and fuck you if you already spent all your time crafting for the current colossus okay oops wrong place i want to be here i want to look at what these monsters got, got a tank attacker defender attacker balanced This one has balanced defender attacker, which meh. Uh, it doesn't look like there's really any good. There's really no good waves in this one that is just like full of attackers, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, you know what? It's nine o'clock. I gotta peace out. So we'll listen to one more song for the song request, right? Which should be next. There we go. So this will be the last song. I'll take off. I wonder what my uh, little Ifrit can do here. There's those water units though, so he might just get killed. Two Shelly and ten minutes. I ran into zero Shelly. But I don't even think I did ten runs. Is there a limit to how many of these you can get per day? It doesn't look like it. doesn't seem that there's a limit which means that that event could be finished like in a day I 
two more days left on these thingies. A lot of tickets. 32 to have two days left. People get here. Beat Astromon, try to catch. And we didn't barely even ran into anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and feed Snow White some fruits. Is that a lot? I feel like usually I get about 30. The fact that I have more than 30 is kind of weird. Especially the two days left. You're probably just not checking the homepage. You probably spend <laughs> spend too much time uh, actually playing, and you don't check the homepage, and you miss the freebies or something. All right. Well, there's no one to host, so we'll just have to kill the stream today. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Holy crap! He lives! He fucking lives! What's up, Minute of Chaos? You know, I see I see your name over here in Discord every now and then. And, uh... You know, missed ya. Hey, thanks for the follow, Mia Krush. How? What? What brings you back, man? I feel like I gotta let's farm for a second, man. Holy crap! I can hang out for another five minutes, <laughs> just to catch up a bit. Oh, I woke up early. Is that the problem? I just streamed too early. That's good. Keep him busy. Quit for a while. Yeah, it seems like about 50% of the people kind of quit. 50% of the active people that were playing with us, like back in, you know, back in 2017. Half of those people left and then some of them have trickled back in slowly over the last maybe like three months finally got my water shelly to evo 3 <laughs> Did you start a new game? Luckily, they've uh, changed up the meta quite a bit for Titans and um, soon Colossus. So you've got some you've got some stuff to do in the sense that whatever you built for before is kind of like being phased out. I know, right? I like, I like when the game developers challenge the meta, but not in the way where they just like replace things. I would 
like I feel like in Summoner's War when they wanted to challenge the meta, they created a new thing. You know, like oh, the meta of the game is like speed and uh, attack bar control or like SP bar control. You know, like that's the meta of the game. So let's make a dungeon that doesn't make those things OP and it actually nerfs those things but they don't go and take something that already exists and just like totally change it um so like in summoner's war they had like i said speed was was the meta so they made a dungeon that had a speed cap like no matter what your speed is your speed can't be higher than 100 in this dungeon and so you were forced to not rebuild teams that you had already built but build a new team for new content. Just seems like that would have made a lot more sense. Especially when, aren't there areas in here that they haven't even exposed yet? Oh no, they already exposed them all. I thought there was one that had like a thing on it, but I guess, which one was that? Wasn't there one? Oh, maybe it was this, the clan. Anyways, could easily go in here. Anyways. Well, thanks again for hanging out. Good to see you again, Chaos. I'm glad I never kicked you from the, from the Discord. <laughs> see you in six months. No, you have to come back next month and re-up on your sub. Don't forget. That's the first time I've seen it since uh, since you've been here. So maybe it only auto re-ups if you go to the channel. I'm not sure. I don't know how all that crap works. Anyways, thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll be back at it again tomorrow morning. I gotta get to work. My boss is sending me messages. So. Thanks again. See ya.